Today I'm going to make a wooden champagne glass. I'm going to take the measurements from this and make it into this. I'm making the champagne glass out of black shirish which is a local hardwood which grows around North Bengal. I'm cutting out two 9 inch pieces of black shirish and a thinner piece of birch for some contrast. I'm gluing all the three pieces of wood together using a quick dry wood glue and I'm going to clamp it and leave it to set for about 15 minutes. Now once the glue sets, I'm going to remove the clamps and uh, I'm going to scrape off any of the excess glue that might have squeezed out. Once that's done, my wood block is ready and I can take it to my lathe for turning. Okay, I've finished uh, rounding over this block. I have this mounted on my chuck here and now I can start shaping this. Champagne glasses are pretty slim. So the first thing I have to do is to reduce the diameter of this wood block using my skew chisel and roughing gouge to about 65 mm. Once I've removed the excess wood, I use my parting tool to even out the front end. I'm marking out the length of the champagne glass which will be about 8 inches and I'm also creating an additional mark as a reference point for shaping. I'm working on a rough outer shape of the champagne glass here and after reducing the diameter of the rim to about 55 mm, I start shaping the stem of the glass. I want the champagne glass to gently curve from the rim all the way to the base of the glass. So I'm using my spindle gouge to slowly remove the wood from the stem of the glass and I'm running clean up passes with my skew chisel for a smooth finish. Now that I have the rough outer shape of the glass, I'm sanding using some 80 good sandpaper to remove any marks that may remain on the surface. I'm using a 20mm Fostner bit to drill a hole and hollow out the inside of the glass. Now this is a lot faster than just using a chisel and I wish I had a larger size Fostner bit as well to do the rest of the work. But since I don't, I'm switching to a square parting tool to clean out the rest of the inside and hollow out the inside of the glass. The champagne glass will hold about 130ml of champagne and it's not very wide. So hollowing out the inside of the glass doesn't take too long. With the carving work on the inside of the glass complete, I start sanding the insides starting with 80 grit sandpaper and work my way all the way up to 320 grit sandpaper for a smooth finish. Now the only thing remaining is to complete shaping the base of the glass. Now I always find this part tricky because as I remove more and more wood from the base, it becomes thinner. So there's always a risk of breaking the glass at this point. So I'm, I'm using slow careful passes with my spindle gouge and my parting tool to complete the final shaping of the glass. With all the carving work complete, Time for a final round of sanding using some 220 and 320 grit sandpaper before I can start applying the finish. This is my favorite part of any new woodworking project. Applying the finish and watching the wood grain pop and come to life. I've applied two coats of an Italian food safe polish and once that dries, my wooden champagne glass is finally ready. I went ahead and made another variant of my wooden champagne glass. Now this one's made from pattern ply and it's a little trickier to make. And I'll show you how I made this in my next video. Until then, this is goodbye from the Wood Geek Workshop. <laughs>